Weather's turned off humid again, so I thought I would just go ahead and see if I could break into the uh, Music Air loudspeaker and at least uh, get the uh, comb removed here in the voice coil. And I'm just going around the edge here of the uh, frame, trying to uh, loosen up some of the glue here that was holding the gasket down. You can see it starting to uh, loosen up here. I'll go ahead and continue to uh, work my way around. I was unable to remove the uh, speaker cone. It was just too fragile. started uh, falling apart. So um, I went on and uh, ripped that out, as well as the uh, spider and the uh, voice coil, which we'll reproduce here, or attempt to. And then uh, we'll stick a new cone on, create a uh, spider out of something, and uh, see if we can get this thing back together. Of course, we've got to um, address the uh, output transformer as well. Go ahead and just drill these areas out right here, these four points, and uh, see if I can uh, remove the uh, fill coil from the uh, frame of the speaker. Yeah, I think I can drive it out here, you can see. There we have it, the center pole piece removed, and I'll need to uh, clean it up as well. Let's look at the uh, fill coil here. Looks like the uh, leads are still attached there. Let me uh, just resolder those. Check DC resistance again and see what we got. No success there, so it's definitely uh, open somewhere. I'll mic out the uh, wire itself to see what gauge it is. Probably looks like 36, 35 AWG. But I'm going to also pull off a known length of wire. Let's do a little calculation here and look at the DC resistance per foot. And uh, see if we can back into the uh, AWG as well. A little unwinding of the coil. I got uh, three leads here for a uh, two lead coil. I've checked DC resistance though between these points and it's still open. So I've got another break somewhere else, but quite interesting here that uh, I found one of the areas of the uh, coil that's uh, compromised. In a quick bath here in some citric acid, remove just a little bit of the uh, flash rust. You can see here the uh, piece that holds the fill coil. I took it over to the drill press, used some number 30 drill bits, and then ended up using some M4 hex button head cap bolts that you'll see just in a moment after tapping, of course, with an M4 tap. The speaker frame here reattached to the uh, back piece there. Let's go ahead and wind another fill coil. You guys can see I'm going to use my cordless drill. Then I uh, took my uh, circuit board holder and uh, made a small modification here. I'll expand on that more in just a bit. And then I've got a couple flat washers here to uh, keep the uh, bobbin in place. And uh, we'll go ahead and start winding here. I'm not really so concerned about the uh, number of uh, windings, as I mentioned, I'm going to use a uh, 35 AWG wire and uh, just try to uh, fill up the bobbin to the point where I can still place the uh, humbucking coil on the uh, outside and make it uh, fit. <laughs> You can see I'm still winding away. I'm over that uh, large hump there on the uh, former. So uh, maybe a little over one-fourth of the way winding the uh, coil. Okay, I think I'm close to the end here as far as the uh, girth of the uh, fill coil. 
as I mentioned earlier, I was going to wind as far as I could and still leave room for the uh, humbucking coil, which is a, a larger gauge wire, and still allow the uh, fill coil diameter not to exceed the uh, max where it will fit inside the uh, what I'll call the yoke. Let me throw a few more windings here in the middle. Try to even this up just a bit, then uh, we'll cut it off and uh, check the DC resistance and see if we're anywhere close to uh, maybe eight to 900 ohms. Not bad at all. You can see I ended up here with uh, just north of 900 ohms of DC resistance. And that's what I was hoping to uh, see. And a look at the completed fill coil using some 3M tape, type 44, around the uh, windings. Of course, uh, doing the uh, connections there with the lead wires. And then uh, topping everything off with some gaffer tape there. And getting ready to uh, reinsert the uh, center pole piece. And you can see here I'm putting just a little bit of grease in that area before driving the uh, center pole piece back in place. And as you can see with the still photos here that I've displayed the uh, gap to uh, work in, you only have a few thousandths of an inch. So I use some shims and here I'm using some thread locker again on the uh, M4 fasteners just to uh, secure the uh, frame back. Thanks for watching folks and more to come soon.